Okay. This video shows you how to simulate dielectric lines. Over here, if I put some transparency, you can see the radiation pattern of the pond antenna. It was I initially like this, but after putting a lens, you can see it became more clarity. How can we do these kind of simulations in HFSs using SBR plus technology? You can also visualize the field in a near field point of view. So if I disable over here and disable the radiation pattern, then you can see how the power or the field is propagating over this space and you can plot the near field distribution around it. I can see it's progressing then it's actually focusing towards one direction after passing through the, uh, the how we can uh, simulate such problem in HFS uh, SBR plus for the for this what I'm doing is I have an antenna over here uh, this was simulated with the uh, FEM so you will see a radiation goes this is an antenna pattern and working at a 10 gigahertz range so 10 gigahertz is a frequency almost 13.33 is my antenna gain and if I go to show modular window you will be able to see this is, this is a pattern okay and uh, coming back to the SPR plus how to set up this problem come back here SPR plus design it's nothing but a normal HOS design but here you can go and set SPR plus design and you can see a dielectric lens uh, it's a simple a dielectric material, sing, material single layer you can see it's a 2.2 with a uh, 0 0.007 is a dielectric function and over here you can uh, you can bring the, the near field or far field of the already simulated data into SPR plus design so how to take it up right click over here create the antenna Go to near field and go to setup and uh, use this project because this antenna is already under the same project otherwise you can go and browse the files through wherever it, this file is located project is located so I can use this one then it will be listed all the FEM simulations here and I will use last adaptive because these two SIPs are disabled so this is the one which has data and if you want to visualize this CAD in the SPR design, go here, select everything except your radiation box and go to model blockage. Model blockage will take care of the reflection coming back from the lens back to the antenna and uh, if it is hitting on the horn, it will again reflect it back to the, uh, the lens area. So this will take care of multi bonds back to the source. So you can set up everything accept and exit dialog boards here in the near field you have option you can set up either near field or far field and go here uh, specify the current options so you can give uh, 97 or something so that will make sure 90 percentage of total energy from the corner are going to use for the radiation pattern calculation why we are not using a uh, hundred percentage be uh, out of 10,000 of current sources uh, most of the energy will be carrying out thousands of current sources remaining uh, almost 9,000 current sources are very very small in power which may not contribute much uh, into this simulation so you can reduce the simulation time drastically by enabling this option click ok and next finish it now you will be able to see that this antenna is imported into uh, SPR plus simulation and uh, I think it should come on this particular point where that's a focal point for this dielectric lens. So what you can do is I need to bring the antenna to this point. You select this one and say it's from target coordinate global change to CS2 so it move to that right location. Now it's all simple if you want to see the pattern of this source antenna what you need to do is go over here go to visualization over here you can see show antenna structure show pattern and if you wanted to see the axis also you can know you can also be 
take the field from this on antenna automatically into SPR plus design and you will be able to see the radiation pattern so yeah you can see and the radiation pattern if you wanted to change the make it bigger or anything you can change it like this let it be like this now what we will do is uh, two things we need to make sure especially when you are using a lens the initial mesh should be very good for that what you need to do is you can select right click go to assign mesh operation surface approximation go back here and say the CAD at surface the mesh should be uh, should have a deviation it should be less than one mm so beyond one mm there should not be any variation between the mesh and the simulation so you can you can right click on this uh, one of the setup and ask it generate mesh because we also mesh it and you can plot the mesh on a particular geometry especially when you are using curve curvature based dielectric uh, enable the uh, the this particular setting also this uh, curvilinear option so you can see the curvilinear is enabled here so that will make sure the curvature side the meshes are pretty nice I can select this body the machine machine has completed plot mesh now you can see this is nicely meshed so the mesh is only for the hit point for the rays so this is using shooting and bouncing rays so even though the mesh become very coarser here don't worry the accuracy will not tolerate you will still have pretty nice accuracy and you can see this mesh is pretty nice and conformable geometry that's enough for us to simulate so then all about is you add a simulation setup and say I wanted to simulate a 10 gigahertz you mentioned single frequency then ask for 10 gigahertz click on the compute field and you need to specify the radiation sphere the infinite sphere setup which all observation point you want to see the radiation pattern so click on the infinite sphere and uh, you can click on new and say I want to see minus pi 2 plus pi the resolution of 2 degree or I can say minus 182 uh, plus 180 the resolution of 1 degree and click OK click OK now your simulation is ready for S uh, far field simulation another one I can also see the near field around the uh, this structure what you need to do is uh, you create a coordinate somewhere here so I'll just create a coordinate here and you need to create a near field uh, rectangular sheet what you need to do is go here rectangular sheet i'll say i 600 and here i put the 81 and here i put the 61 and uh, go back here say cs1 so that that sheet will come here what happened is this sheet has to rotate it in the vertical direction so that we can see the cross section view so what i will do is i'll just select this and uh, there is an option change here and change the angle to 90 so you can rotate the coordinate by 90 degree so that the xy coordinate comes came something like this you can see the radiation the near field point so this all points it will calculate the field and for that what we'll do is we will just uh, create a another setup and say I wanted to see the near field points at 10 gigahertz go back and put instead of our field you select it near field then turn it to which we created now and uh, yeah this is fine click ok and now you will have uh, this all set up so these are the two setup which I already created earlier so these are the two set of one for far field, one for near field. So you run the simulation and uh, after that, after the simulation you will see something like this. 
so you will be able to visualize the near field so how to plot the near field right click over here you will go alter one and go to the result of this it's mistake go here and select the point emitter in the UV, new report so you will be able to see something like this make sure your scales are pretty uh, nice so this is came something like uh, uh, lines you can go here and if you want it to to the overlay contour you can enable click up play show label click up play you'll be able to see how these uh, values are distributing so each location you will be able to see okay this the near field distribution values you can plot it here coming over coming over to plotting nicely what you can do is change to uh, fringe or two and click up play be able to see how it is plotting and you can disable this so it will look something like this and if you want to change the scale you go here Now we have plotted the near field. So once you plotted the near field with the proper scaling, right click, show in modular window, that plot will be appearing over here. So nicely you can see how the lens is focusing your field. And similarly the radiation pattern over here you can visualize. this also you can overlay on top of the geometry so you can see this is the how the radiation pattern looks